6.05 a.m. Let's go Bournemouth. In between the house and the car, I spoke some coffee on the bag, but it's fine. We keep it moving. Welcome to Bournemouth. Welcome to Bournemouth. We're here. Chris Willem Smith, Isaac Chamberlain, The Boxer Show, Battle on the Beach, Sofa Senseis. We're ready. Nearly there. Nearly there. We made it. We are by the beach Sandbanks. somewhere. Sandbanks. Here we go. Ooh. Cantonese version of the uh, <laughs> of the documentary there. Yes. Go on, what are you saying? I don't know what she's saying, but all I know is I got my toes all up in the sand. All up in the sand. This is it. Yay. Boxing or holiday, who knows? So we're just getting some breakfast at uh, is it Sally's Cafe? <laughs> Sunny. Is it Sally? Sunny. 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 Sunny's cafe, okay. I don't know how I look right now, but Sunny's cafe. <laughs> Uh, Gabrielle says she feels like she's in the extenders. <laughs> Guys, look at all my eyes. This is where Serena wanted to go. <laughs> Perhaps tomorrow. Oh, but lovely views all the same. This is very good. This is the breakfast. <laughs> There's the bacon bun. Bad man, they eat pork. Um, <laughs> obviously, being Aki and Saltfish, we don't eat pork over here. There is more coming. Guys, you know what I realised? I'm back in the office editing this vlog and I didn't really speak much about the fights. But do you know what? That just shows you how good of a night, how much of a good night it was. Um, we saw Ben Whitaker's live uh, pro debut. That was fantastic. His footwork is insane. He's an entertainer. He's so slick. Obviously, factoring in the level of his opponent, who knows how slick he's going to be going up the rankings. But nevertheless, um, I enjoyed watching him. He put on a show and he knew how to get a crowd going. Um, Definitely one to look out for and definitely one that would divide audiences, which is always always good in boxing. Um, Fraser Clark got hit a little bit too much for my liking at that level. Bracamonte isn't really much of a, a test really for someone of Fraser's calibre. And obviously Fraser got him out there in the second round. Um, so that proved that, but he got hit a little bit too much for my liking in the meantime. Um, I heard people talking behind me saying that Fraser's going to be better than Anthony Joshua. I don't know, I'm not sure I agree with that one, but we'll see, time will tell, time will reveal all. Um, in terms of the main event, what we were all there to see, Chris Billum Smith versus Isaac Chamberlain, what a fight. I think, if I'm honest, if I'm honest, if I'm really, really honest, um, I think it's a fight that would have probably looked better on TV than it did look live. With that being said, the atmosphere live was just incredible. One of the best atmospheres, if not the best atmosphere I've ever been in for any event ever. Like, so loud, so passionate, so consistent, yeah, they really spurred him on. And I, I do think um, if that was in any other location and the atmosphere was, was absent, I don't know if, if um, Chris Billen Smith would have, been, would have been able to pull it out of the bag like he did um, throughout, because he looked shattered from like around four onwards, really. Um, and he had his second wind. I think a lot of that was due to, obviously, his training, but also due to the success um, of the chance and the consistency and the passion behind them. So shout out the Bournemouth crowd for that one. Um, one other thing I wanted to, or a few other things I wanted to mention was about things that I noticed as a Sofa Sensei there live versus what I would have done on TV. So, weirdly enough, um, I saw a referee have like a, a bottle of water. Didn't realise that before. Obviously, we don't see that on the TV, the referee taking a little sip. So, that was quite interesting. It was really sad, actually, after watching Fraser Clark versus Bracamonte, um, seeing... Fraser Clark celebrating in the ring, you know, get his pictures. If you checked out the Sofa Sensei story, you see my my four fighter poses. This one, this one, 
this one. Um, but basically, uh, while Fraser was doing all that in the ring, Bracamonte uh, was walking out on the, what do you call it? Like the, the runway that you walk in on. But it was obviously not lit up like it was on, the, on his way in. It was dark. He was walking out looking really quite sad. His team weren't with him either um, because he walked back on it, you know, by himself. Um, the final thing was quite interesting before the, the fights obviously get announced and that sort of thing. Seeing the corners come out is, is quite an interesting behind the scenes bit there if you're live. So yeah, definitely if you get a chance, go see a live show. I spent three minutes talking about my reflections of the show, of the boxing. Now go ahead and enjoy what else we did in Bournemouth. It's a magical, magical town. Had a really great time and hopefully boxing can visit Bournemouth again. Battle on the beach, a success I'd say. So it's the day after the boxing, we've come to a reggae. First of all, quiet, isn't it? Right. Twenty pound inch you get in, you know. It's a bit mad still. Bit of volleyball. By the beach. Living good. This is what Sensei do to unwind. Bit of volleyball. So after about a three-hour journey, made it back home. Now I'm at some family places to get. Some dinner. That's it, that's the end of the vlog. So for Sensei's, Bournemouth, Isaac Chamberlain, Chris Miller Smith, Battle on the Beach. It's over. <laughs>